Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for coming to this talk. The talk's title is uh, Organizational Distance Also Matters, How Organizational Distance Among Industry Research Teams Affects Their Research Productivity. This is a paper uh, representing a joint collaboration between IBM Research and Cornell University. We have this uh, observation that within an organization, a project team may not be the same as the organizational team. Let's take a look at this illustration. To the left, this is a typical uh, organizational hierarchy where you have uh, two organizational teams here, uh, manager A and manager E. Each uh, is managing three employees reporting to them. So these are two organizational teams. To the right, you can see there are two project teams. Uh, these are, as this study is in the research and development organization, so these are two research project teams. Within each of the research project team, there may be a fixed number of uh, people involved, team members, and uh, despite that they may come from different backgrounds, some of them are managers or engineers or researchers, they work together for a significant amount of time to deliver one particular project uh, deliverable. There are different ways to calculate the organizational distance. Uh, to the left, if we only calculate the hierarchical distance, that means that from uh, B to A, there's a link. From C to A, there's a link. You can always calculate the distance between any employee uh, using such uh, calculation. And But if you want to calculate someone who are at the same level, then you have to go through your direct report. That means between B and C uh, to the in the left chart, their distance will be calculated as two. But if we also take into account the peer relationship, then as represented in the red chart, uh, then between B and C, their distance will be one. Between B and D, their distance will also be one. We call it a strict hierarchy, but with peers uh, relationship, SHP. Now let's come back to our primary research question. The research question is, does relationship, uh, is there a relationship between the team dispersion and the team productivity? In particular, in this paper, we're looking at the, the team dispersion from the following four categories, geographical distance, temporal distance, functional distance, which is whether engineers or researchers, and the last one, the focus of this paper, organizational distance, as already defined in the previous slides. There are various related works uh, in this domain, uh, from the classic uh, Olsen and Olsen's Distance Matters to the more recent uh, works uh, published by Mark Whitney and uh, our peers. So people are so interested in what are the team, uh, team composition and how they can uh, uh, influence the team productivity. In this particular study set, uh, there was a unique opportunity for us. In November 2017, uh, there's a real happened in this uh, R&D division. Uh, in total, more than 500 uh, employees are involved in this real so they still remain in their existing uh, organizational team, but they can form new research teams um, using a self-organized uh, uh, manner. So in total, there are 117 research teams being uh, formed and self-organized. On average, there are about seven members in each of those teams. Because we have access to these 117 teams composition, we also have each of these employees organizational uh, position in the organization hierarchy chart so that we can calculate all the following four measures, geo distance, temporal distance, functional distance, and organizational distance. In addition to these uh, 
four primary factors. We are also interested in uh, controlling the following three factors, team size, team motivation, and the same org team uh, using binary uh, measurement. Here are some you know, highlights of the findings. Uh, first, uh, if we divide all the teams, the product teams into two categories, one category, which we call them as more productive teams. That means within a fixed amount of time, uh, they actually delivered a research paper out of uh, these research projects. Uh, the less product teams are the ones that uh, couldn't deliver a research paper. Uh, one thing to worth mentioning is that at the beginning of this reorg, uh, coming up with a paper submission is one of the common goals that all these 117 teams share, that, uh, which makes this uh, quasi-experiment uh, setting. And uh, that's why uh, this is a unique opportunity. It's rarely seen in many other uh, real-world organization uh, settings. But from this table, as you can see, that uh, certainly whether the team uh, explicitly indicate that they have confidence to publish a paper by the end of the project, use that as a you know, motiv team motivation, it uh, uh, plays an important role in um, predicting whether they can eventually have that uh, paper outcome. Also, uh, the functional dispersion score and the organizational dis uh, distance score uh, are showing difference in these two clusters of teams. Uh, as a, a final part of my presentation, I want to present this uh, uh, logistic regression uh, model that shows uh, how the organization uh, distance score and the team motivation can actually uh, influence the team's uh, publication uh, likelihood. As you can see from this beta coefficient, uh, the further away these uh, team members are in the organization can actually lead to a higher chance of publishing a paper. Uh, if they have a team motivation at the beginning, it can also uh, lead to a higher chance of they have a publication coming out. We see this uh, uh, interesting finding as you know, distance often are portrayed as a, a blocker to people's productivity. But here is certainly empowering the teams if they have uh, people from different parts of the organization. Uh, more findings and uh, discussions, you can refer to our paper. Thank you.